Okay, I'm going to try another one of these Global Storm Outlooks where we're going to look at what's going on in the next week around the world in the world of storms. So this is the 10 day forecast from the Global Forecasting System and it shows just the rainfall around the globe as predicted. The date is up in the top right and I'm going to highlight that there. And what I'm going to do is just have a quick look at this and see what I can find and then we'll move on. I've had a little bit of a look here and uh, I've labeled the M over here is the monsoon in India which is getting going it looks like. Uh, uh, that's what I think it is. There's a bit of a circulation there at the end which might be a monsoonal depression. In the South China Sea we've got what looks like a uh, tropical cyclone forming um, and that's around next that's next week and making landfall on the sixth. Now this is just one model so we're gonna have a look at some other stuff to check whether this is uh, likely to happen or not. There's also the indication of a, a separate uh, disturbance uh, moving up to the east of the Philippines and um, actually getting kind of close to Japan but I think that not too sure about that one at all. On the 3rd of June we've got a storm system which is there moving into the North Island of New Zealand bringing some heavy rain according to this simulation and then in the well the Midwest US you know it's it's spring late spring and uh, beginning into June now but this is severe thunderstorm season out there so there's a uh, various big intense pulses going on and that will probably require an independent check so we'll get back to that and get onto that so, moving on okie dokie let's start with looking at the potential tropical cyclones in the South China Sea and West Pacific we've got the same model simulation here but zooming in and this is the tropical tip at the site and then we'll flick it forward and you'll see the development down here in the South China Sea of the uh, tropical system or potential tropical system it moves up and actually seems to head towards Hong Kong. Now if you look carefully you'll actually see that the global forecasting system model is predicting this to get to 895 millibars. Now that is extremely low and um, most likely this model is extremely exaggerating this system as it often does. Anyway off to the east of the Philippines we've got the other system which we saw earlier and that's heading up. Let's see where that goes. It pretty much misses most places I might catch one of those small islands down there um, but not too sure about either of these systems the GFS has a tendency to blow this stuff up so what we can do is look at a, another model which is the European model and see what it's playing at what it's doing and what you find out is that the GFS the ECMWF which is this model the European model doesn't have very much at all and that system to the east is pretty much not much. Oh there it goes, it's going a little bit. Oh the development, okay so right so now the European model is no longer, it was previously indicating development of the one in the South China Sea which is here and it's no longer indicating that but that's one to keep an eye on anyway. It roughly makes landfall around 7th, 6th of, 6th of June. Uh, but the one off to the east of the Philippines does develop in the European model and heads quite close or heading roughly towards Taiwan so that'll be interesting to watch this is way off into the end of next week though so really far out there 